Brittany Marcel's sister is using her family's experience to help other female victims fight for justice. She's sharing what they went through for years to get justice after the Cibola student was almost beaten to death with a shovel. She wants to inspire others. Here's News 13's Stephanie Chavez. We're talking about one of the worst days of our lives. In July, Alicia Marcel and her family had to explain in front of a courtroom how that day back in 2008 changed their lives. I could tell you my sister got attacked and gosh, she almost died. And I don't know, it seems sad, but I don't know that it would break your heart. But I could tell you my sister was violently attacked with a shovel and I had to watch her drool all over herself and I had to listen to doctors tell me she's probably going to die. Alicia says getting up in front of the court before Brittany's attacker was sentenced to 18 years in prison was terrifying. They say not only do you need to relive this, but also do it in front of a judge and in front of Justin Hansen. That was scary. So she's using a popular platform to help other women construct victim statements of their own. If you can get to a vulnerable, authentic, organized place with your story, I think you get your voice back in some ways. Alicia will be a speaker at the November 29th TED Talks Women Albuquerque, which will be broadcast online. I've been working with the DA's office and I've done some training with them and I'm going to attend staff meetings and other sentencing to figure out the lay of the land outside of our own experience. She tells me it's important for people to move past their anger. We need to get to the sadness. We need to get to the grief and loss because everyone knows we're angry. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. Now, Brittany is flying back to Albuquerque to see her sister speak on November 29th. Right now, no venue has.